Our next step is to log into Canvas and then import the quiz or test that we've created. You need to go to the course you want to put the test into. In this case, I'm going to my math course. You have to go to the settings button on the bottom left. Once you do that, you'll see some choices on the right side. And the one you want to use is import content into this course. Clicking that button brings you to a content import selection screen. You want to select the Blackboard 6789 export zip file. You exported a 8, a 79 file, but you want to import this version as it covers the whole range. Then you have to choose your file. This is where it's really important to remember where you went when you saved the file. And then you find the zip file that you created when you exported from exam view. And then I always create a new question bank when I do these things. If I already have a question bank there, I can use that bank and it will add the content or even overwrite. I want to import all the content. I can't overwrite access in these, but I generally leave these blank. I create a new default question bank and I import all content. When I click the import button, it will take a few minutes for the uh, job to happen and you'll see it running and it will complete this step and then you next go to the quizzes. When you go to quizzes, it will sometimes create this quiz for you. After you've made a few quizzes, I found that it doesn't always create the new quiz when you import. Um, your mileage may vary in this case. You click on the quiz, and the quiz is in there. You can preview it, and you will see the questions and the sections, and then you can move from there and, and see what it wants. Uh, you need to then edit the quiz and set up all the sections and control it the way you want to do. So in this case, I'm going to stop this video because really all I want to do is show you how to get it in to Canvas, and we have it now in to Canvas.